Cairo, Egypt has some of the most beautiful mosques in the world and that's one of the reasons we use several of them at the beginning of the series because they so beautifully show how architecture can be used to glorify God. This is the beautiful mosque of Sultan Hassan in Cairo. It's known for its monumental dimensions and opulent decoration. Much of it carried out by uh, craftsmen who were brought from Syria and Iran. Often when filming these mosques, we put a human figure in the shot in order to give it scale to show how grand the place is. Here we're using a jib and a very wide lens to take in this whole uh, tremendous space. The open courtyard here has many hanging lamps, quite beautiful, opening to the sky. This is the mosque of Ibn Tulun. It's, it's a much older construction. Uh, the spiral minaret was actually uh, modeled on one from Iraq in Samarra. You can see here the simplicity, the geometric simplicity in this shot taken from the minaret. This is a minbar which serves as a pulpit wood in a Christian church. You can see the grand scale of the architecture here in the Ibn Falun Mosque, here back in Sultan Hassan. Arabic calligraphy was an important decorative element, often in gold, as we see here. In Tunisia, the great water basins in Karawan were originally Roman. The Muslims restored them and provided running water for the citizens of Karawan. Here we've placed a camel beside them to give a sense of scale. I think the camel cost us about seven dollars for the day's rental. Here's the open courtyard of the great mosque of Karawan. It's a very early 8th century mosque. Again, very great in scale. The square minaret is probably a remnant from the original 8th century mosque, later rebuilt. This is the, the great mosque of Damascus, the earliest surviving monumental mosque in the Islamic world. It was the first mosque to have minarets and was converted from a Christian church of St. John. Uh, it became the architectural model for mosques uh, all around the world and eventually was given a shrine to the head of John the Baptist. Here we're inside the great Suleymaniye Mosque, built for the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent in the 16th century. The Ottoman architect Sinan's greatest work, really the finest example. Islamic architects uh, really perfected the difficult task of dome building, and the Ottoman mosques had some of the finest domes of all. The domes were often topped off the beautiful gold ornament, sometimes with the symbolic gold crescents at the very end. Here we see the Hagia Sophia, once a great church, and uh, became a mosque with the conquest of Constantinople by Mehmet, the great Ottoman Sultan. It was originally built by the Byzantine Emperor in the 5th century. Here again, the great architect Sinan used it as a model for the, for the Suleymaniye. The interior spaces are magnificent. It was originally the largest enclosed space in the world. Amen.